Hey, what's up guys? This is Vikas once again back with another tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to create a premium logo like this in just PowerPoint. So this logo is uh, dedicated for the best of our 2020 and this type of logo you can use in your certificate design also. So before start creating it guys, I just want to request you if you are new on this channel and watching this video for the first time and haven't subscribed this channel yet then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you will get notified whenever we upload a new video on this channel so uh, before start creating i just want to show you which type of element i have used to uh, create this type of logo so you can see here you can see here uh, hexagon outline this is again a hexagon outline a hexagon here here in the bottom a hexagon here in the bottom and these are the some text over here and this is the ribbon design i have also created in powerpoint so this is how i combine these type of shapes to create a premium logo like this so let's start creating guys so just click on the insert option here you will find a new slide option just click on that and add a blank slide over here so uh, i just want to tell you guys the size should be four into four means this is a uh, the height is four inch and the width is four inch which is perfect for a logo design okay logo design okay so this is the blank slide i have already added here so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the shape option over here and let's click on isosceles triangle option over here press ctrl and shift together and drag a rectangle over here like this for now i'm going to make it no outline let's click over here and choose no outline option over here now again press ctrl and d to duplicate this shape and uh, now for now i'm just going to rotate it flip it vertically so click flip it vertically and drag it over here like this again pressing ctrl d to duplicate so choose the first triangle and again press ctrl d to duplicate it and drag it over here okay so now what you have to do you just have to click all select all these shapes and press ctrl g to group it and ctrl d to duplicate it again one more time so now what you have to do you just have to click on rotate option and flip it vertically flip it vertically and drag it over here so you have to ungroup it ungroup right click over here and ungroup it now press ctrl a and select all these shapes and click on the merge shape option and make it union like this so this is how we get a regular hexagon over here so you will think that why i am creating these hexagons with the triangle shapes uh, not uh, selecting a predefined hexagon in powerpoint like this as we, as we have a predefined hexagon over here so this hexagon basically will not give a proper and a regular hexagon over here so it will create a little bit difficulties while creating a required shape over here so guys that's why i am creating these shapes with the equilateral triangle you can say equilateral triangle because i have press control and shift together and drag it outward to make it a regular uh, make it equilateral triangle so this is uh, the idea behind it okay so now what you have to do you just have to press ctrl d to duplicate this shape one more time and for now i'm going to change the color of this shape to light yellow okay now press ctrl and shift together and drag it little bit inner to make it smaller like this okay so now what you have to do you have to select the first hexagon press ctrl and select the second hexagon and before selecting this you have to make a duplicate copy of yellow one so press ctrl d to duplicate it and place it over here so now you have to click the first one first hexagon and press ctrl and select the second one click on the merge shape option and say subtract over here got it 
now take a reference of the previous one so we have to make another copy another copy of uh, this one so i'm going to press ctrl d and for now i'm going to change the shape fill of this hexagon to something orange now press ctrl shift together again and drag it inner bar to make it smaller like this and again make a duplicate copy of orange one and place it over here select the lighter yellow and press ctrl and select the orange and choose the merge shape option and here you will find the subtract option just click on that okay now place this one over here just zoom in and i'm going to zoom in a little bit and press ctrl shift together and drag it a little bit inner board again do the same with the orange one just click shift and control together and drag it a little bit inner inner side to make it a little bit smaller like this okay so now click on the lighter yellow shape over here and just click on the effect option over here now you will find the 3d format option 3d format option just click on that and here you will find the top bevel option just click on that and choose the first one over here like this and decrease the width like i'm going to decrease it to three okay do the same with the blue shape over here or you can try the another bevel option over there so i'm just going to choose uh, again the circle option over here and uh, decreasing its width like uh, i'm going to do it two so now now we have to click on the orange shape option press ctrl and shift together and drag it outward to make it bigger like this okay right click over here and send it to back like this so now i'm going to use this color sample over here so i'm just going to copy it by pressing ctrl c and paste it over here by pressing ctrl v on the keyboard so select this shape option this shape over here and uh, click on the format shape option and choose a shape fill option and eye dropper over here and choose uh, this color over here for this shape you have to choose the gradient option over here and now the gradient option you have to change the type to linear just click on linear and for the right handle you have to choose this black shape and for the red left handle you have to choose this darker red shape over here okay fine so this is the shape fill should be there now select the yellow shape over here just click on the shape fill option choose eyedropper and for yellow shape uh, yellow shape i'm going to use the same color over here like this okay let me take a reference of the previous one so the shape is almost ready over here now it's time to create a ribbon like this so for ribbon i am going to click on insert just click on shape option over here choose a rectangle and drag it over here like this okay just make the outline no outline just right click over here i'm going to make it a little bit smaller like this okay just right click over here click on edit point option over here you will get a four uh, black dotted over here or on each corner so click on the first corner over here and you will get two handles so adjust this handle like this and click on this handle and adjust this handles like this do with the same with these two two handles so i'm going to adjust it like this and for this handle i'm again going to adjust it like this we have to select all these shapes over here accept these color samples and press ctrl g to group it and rotate it 90 degree like this okay now put this shape over here and drag it a little bit here to make it bigger like this okay so you have to drag it over here like this now what you'll have to do is you just have to create these shapes these two shapes over here so let me show you these shapes you have to create over here so for this what i'm going to do is 
for this again i'm going to click on insert option again i will choose a rectangle option over here just drag a rectangle over here like this and uh, make the outlines no outline over here just right click over here and click on edit point option just click in the middle over here and drag this point like drag it over here like this adjust this dot over here and for this one you have to adjust it like this for you that's it now again press right click over here edit points and click on this point make it a little bit curve again click on this point make it curve like this do the same with the bottom points just click on that and make it a little bit curve again click on this point and make it a little bit curve like this so you can see right click over here click in edit point option and i'm going to shift this point something here now it's fine so i'm going to rotate it a little bit like this and place this over here right click over here and send it to back for now i'm going to change the color of this shape so that you can see it clearly uh, okay so right click on the blue shapes edit points and pick the point over here like this and pick this point over here like this okay drag this handle over here now click on insert option choose a triangle right triangle over here and drag a right triangle for now i'm going to make it no outline over here and just click on rotate option and flip it horizontally like this again click on like this and i'm going to place this shape over here like this just zoom in for now i'm going to uh, change the shape fill to something dark yellow right click over here edit points and bring this point over here like this and bring this point over here like this okay now send it to back and now send this shape to the back now you can see so i'm going to copy all these first i'm going to group it and duplicate this shape zoom out and i will put this shape over here rotate it horizontally and place this shape over here right click over here and send it to back like this shape i'm going to use i'm going to select all these shapes and make a group by pressing ctrl g now you can see i have group these items so now it's time to add a color on this shape so choose click on this shape and choose a gradient fill option over here and uh, the angle should be this and for this i'm going to use the following color samples over here so for this i'm going to use this color for this i'm going to use this darker color for this i'm going to use this lighter color over here like this now you can see the effect i have created here so for this shape i'm you go, i'm again going to use this i'm again going to use solid color and for this i'm going to use some darker color over here and for this shape i'm going to use some darker color over here like this one okay choose this triangular shape and choose a more darker color for this like i'm going to use this shape over here and for this yellow shape i'm again going to use the darker red color over here okay now you can see the shape is ready now copy this text and paste this text over here over there press ctrl c and paste the shapes over here this text actually over here so press uh, for now i'm going to increase the 
size of this text and you can see which type of uh, text i'm using ambassability and the size is 36 over here so for a bard i'm going to use uh, the 20 32 pixel over here 32 over here uh, it may be 28 yeah 28 is enough 28 should be there and for 2020 i'm going to slightly increase the size of this text over here so look how we have created this icon over there so this is how you can create this type of icon over here and for the rest of the icon i just have used another color combinations to make it more attractive okay so this is how you can create uh, icons or award icons over here actually i have created these icons this particular icon to use in a, a slide in which i will teach you how to create a certificate design in powerpoint so the next tutorial will be certificate design and for that certificate design i have created this this type of uh, premium award logo over here so this is all about this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial till now bye and thank you very much for watching this video